Good day there viewers, welcome to my channel called Vintage Time. My name is Cliff and I'm a gem cutter from Southern Australia. In the past I've featured many different videos on how to cut gemstones. In today's episode it will be a triple feature which will feature topaz, cubic zirconia and citrine. So before I commence faceting I want to put in a disclaimer that no gems were harmed in any way. There has been a couple of people that have been regularly thumbing down because they feel that I've been harming the natural crystal and hurting its life force. So all of my gemstones have been properly sourced and certified to make sure that during the mining process they were not whipped, tortured or cut with any inappropriate machinery. I was so concerned about this that I sent my best friend and little buddy Jaws, my sniffer dog, to find the person or the people involved in the thumbing down and he came home with this sketch of a person that he found and we tracked him down at the local pub just to have a quiet word and a talk to him. However, I do think this person is not alone and he does have an accomplice but Jaws will catch up with him someday. So in this video I'll be faceting three designs and the first design is this one, it's called the Standard Round Brilliant. Actually I'll be fastening one with a continuous girdle so but basically it's the same design without the girdle being faceted and I would recommend that if you're a learner this would be one of the gems you should learn to cut because you'll learn so much about meat points. So here's a 3D computer generated GIF of what the gem should look like once completed. For the benefit of the new viewer and those people who have never seen my videos, what I'm doing now is that I'm currently fastening what is called the pavilion of the gem and I'll be fastening 16 facets down to depth and I'm using a 100 grit lap so this is just a quick rough out of those facets. After that I'll move through the process of using finer grit laps, for example I'll use a 600 grit lap and then I'll move on to a smoother 3000 grit diamond lap and then later on of course I'll be polishing those facets. Incidentally I'm using my ears to hear when the facet has been cut down to depth. For those people who are not familiar with the sequence of how the standard round brilliant is cut, I'm using Gem Cut Studio to take you through the process of all the facets that are cut from the pavilion through to the crown. In this scene here you can see that I've cut the first 16 facets and then I'll move on to rounding out the girdle. So here you can see now that the girdle has been rounded out and then I'll be cutting the next eight facets called the main facets. Here you can see that I've cut the eight main facets forming a culette and that is the tip of the pavilion and in the following scene you'll see that I've polished all the pavilion facets. Now in previous videos I show you how to do this, I use a tin lap with 50,000 grit diamond compound. 
To facet the crown I've transferred the gem onto another dob stick and I've also shown this in many other videos so we don't need to go into that. So on to faceting the crown. In the following scenes you'll see all the sequences of how the crown has been cut and then polished. In the following scenes you'll see that all the crown facets have been polished using the same method as on the pavilion using a 50,000 grit diamond compound on a tin lap. You may notice that there's a little bit of root hole within the topaz. So this piece of topaz is now complete. I'll remove it by heat and you will see it in the final reveal at the end of the video with the other gems that I've cut. So for the time being this is over and out with the narration but I will leave some subtitles.
so I'm back again with the narration and the final cut will be a piece of citrine from South Africa and I'll be fastening a relatively easy design called the Apex. This is called the Apex design and it's considered to be a fancy cut because it doesn't have a table. Also I'll include a GIF of a computer generated image of what the gem should look like once completed and I will include the cutting sequence. In the following scenes you'll see that I've faceted the entire gem called the Apex from the pavilion all the way through to the crown and you'll see the sequences of how the pavilion and crown facets have been done including the polishing sequences. Also I'd like to say that if you're a beginner this is a very easy design to facet. You can download this off the internet and I would give it a go. It's a lot easier than the standard round brilliant. In closing, I would like to thank all my regular subscribers and viewers and anyone who's recently subscribed or those people who are wanting to learn how to facet. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Also, if you want to learn how to facet, one of the questions people ask me all the time is where do I start? And I would say the best thing you could probably do is join a gem club. If you're trying to learn and you cannot get access to a gem club, feel free to leave some comments in the comment section. I will try to answer them. I actually do read all my comments and I do try to respond. If you leave a comment in someone else's reply, then I won't see it. So it's important that you make a comment separate from other people's posts. If you're disrespectful, of course, Jaws is always looking out for some fresh meat 
and he will block you. And of course we have the final reveal coming up at the end of this video where all the gems are taken off the dop stick, all the glue is removed and you see what these gems look like, nice and shiny, spinning around on a rotator. So until next time, take care everybody, like and subscribe and I'll see you later. It's bye for now.